Good day and uh, welcome to our devotional. I uh, hope your week is, is going well. Here's our question. If you knew that you had only one week to live, what would you do with your time? What kind of things would we focus on each day for that week? This particular week, we're examining the last few days of Jesus's life, examining what he feels is important enough to be spending his last hours doing. Our text is found in Luke chapter 21, verses 37, 38. Each day, Jesus was found teaching in the temple. All the people came out early in the morning to hear him. And then each evening, he would spend the night on the hill called Mount of Olives. Matthew speaks of this day. Uh, after his triumphant entry, uh, Jesus came to the temple, Matthew says, healing the blind and the lame that came to him. And then Matthew tells us that the children began to be caught up in the day's celebration, and they were singing Hosanna, proclaiming Jesus to be uh, Messiah. Then uh, the temple priests and, and teachers got involved. The religious leaders heard this, and they began to criticize the, the children, but Jesus defended them. Uh, you recall early in his ministry that Jesus is found taking children into his arms. He blesses them, and then he uh, admonishes his disciples to not deny them, but give them a place in his presence, in his ministry. We can say without doubt that Jesus loved children. My son once told me, you, you could tell where a person's heart is by observing how he treats children and dogs. And I thought, you know, that, that, that's a nice thought. That's a nice saying, but wondered if it was true. But wow, I challenge you, you know, as I have observed life through the years, there appears to be a lot of truth right there. Jesus's lifestyle seems to affirm the fact that children are to be given a prominent place in our heart and in our behavior. Well, in our text today, Jesus is back at the temple. Uh, Luke says that he is teaching the people. You remember in John's gospel in, in chapter 1, verse 18, uh, John says that Jesus came to make God known. The Greek really says to execute God, to demonstrate God. Indeed, Jesus came to show us who God is and what he's like. For instance, there was a time, you remember in John 14, 9, when Jesus said, if you've seen me, uh, you've seen the Father, or, or John 10, 30, uh, the Father and I are one. Here it is, folks. We are to be the second incarnation. We are to demonstrate Jesus. We're to exegete Jesus. We're to share Jesus we're to show that he is the Messiah, that he is our Savior by becoming like him in heart, in mind, uh, you know, in, in disposition and behavior. Here's another application for our thoughts today. As we look forward to his resurrection, are we like Jesus? Are we teaching others? Are we sharing our tradition of eggs and bunnies more than we're sharing the good news of an empty tomb of the resurrection? Are we teaching our children and others more about egg hunts than about the benefits of the resurrection on our eternal destiny? In our last hours, may we be found welcoming children into our heart and sharing Jesus. Sobering challenge for this week as we look forward to the resurrection of Jesus. We close our thoughts with uh, words from the 110th Psalm. And I believe we could say that this is David's word speaking about Jesus's resurrection. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for my feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter to Zion and from Zion. You will rule in the hearts of your enemies. Your troops will be willing on the day of your battle. Arrayed in holy majesty from the womb of the dawn, you will receive the dew of your youth. 
The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath. He will judge nations, heaping up the dead, crushing the rulers of the earth. He will drink from the brook beside the way. Therefore, he will lift your head up in that day. Indeed. May God bless your day. May God bless your week. Amen.